Hello again, you're watching the news in brief. The Public Accounts Committee on its second day of sitting realized some financial malfeasance in some hospitals in the management of the National AIDS Control Program. It was revealed managers of the program at some hospitals kept monies in their offices and personal accounts instead of depositing them at the banks. The chairman of the committee says the practice should attract sanctions. The Ministry of Health, Ghana Health Service, National AIDS Control Program, Ghana AIDS Commission and other agencies appeared before the committee on the management and distribution of antiretroviral drugs in the country. The committee identified some procurement and payment problems. Do the auditors see the donors audited reports? You said no, they say no, so you don't need to talk about that any longer. Then we are asking whether they even discuss these reports with the minister. Where is the man? The Yendi man, the KNUST man, the Nkoko man, the Yendi man, where are they themselves? Have they all paid the money now? Yes. Mr. Kamaria, it's been paid long ago. By uh, KNUST, not them? No, the, the, the money was in the office. Okay. It wasn't in somebody's account. Okay. Um, when KNUST, the money was not in anybody's account, it was in the office. We were keeping the money, and there was no directive that paid this money into this account. When I was leaving for school, I said, ah, I told my colleague, this is the money, what do we do? And he said, they cannot keep it. And I said, if that is the case, that to put it here, it will get lost. Let me keep it. Any time they give the directive, they will pay. So 2010, the auditors came and said, we should pay the money to the hospital and quote the receipt. And quote, we paid 2010. And from then, they have been paying every month and receipt have been issued out. There were also issues of delays in clearing antiretroviral drugs at the port, which led to loss of income to a tune of over 24 million cities. In most cases, the goods are consigned to the financiers, and they will have to go through the process of amending the, the consignee name to read the name of the Minister of Health, and that requires some consent and so on. The audit report also cited misappropriation of funds and delays in payments of monies to suppliers by officials of the National Health Insurance Authority.